All right, Andrea, thank you. Well, Leonardo da Vinci's paintings may have a secret ingredient. What is it? All right, here it is. According to a new study, old masters like da Vinci uh, may have used egg yolk wow. in their oil paintings. Yeah, so it says uh, trace quantities of the protein have been detected in the classic paintings. While it was originally believed to have been from contamination, hmm. researchers now say it was intentional. They say adding egg yolk could tune the properties of the oil paint in drastic ways, such as showing age, brush strokes differently. It would also make the paint more resistant to humidity. The study was published Tuesday in the Journal of Nature Communications. That's really cool. Yeah, it is. You know, my son over the weekend, he went and saw the um, Van Gogh mm -hmm. uh, exhibit. Have you seen that? Mm -mm. Uh, it's like a virtual reality. It's like you're kind of immersed in the paintings. He said it was one of the coolest things ever. He loved it. He's 11, uh, but and he, he likes to draw and paint. He's not, I mean, yeah. he's not going to be an artist one day, but um, <laughs> I mean, never say you never. Know, you know, you don't know though. What? Yeah, you never know. <laughs> but um, he just said the experience though was really neat. Yeah. So uh, it was somewhere in downtown off of Vine. I know we've done stories on it, but he, um, they went there with actually my parents and it was, they had a lot of fun. I think art sometimes for me, because I don't, it's not something that comes top of mind. Yeah. If you forget to do it, but when you go and actually stop and, and take it in mm -hmm. and look at it, you're like, oh. Okay. Why, why don't I do this more often? I know. I kind of think the I think the same thing. Yeah. But all right. Well, today, if you didn't know, is Manatee Appreciation Day, and we need to raise awareness about these gentle sea giants. Their special day falls on the last Wednesday of March. Yeah. So manatees are nicknamed sea cows because they spend about eight hours a day grazing on seagrass. They have no natural enemy, but they are a threatened species because of pollution, climate change, and hunting. Many also end up injured due to collisions with boats and ships in shallow water. While manatees are friendly in Florida, it's illegal to harass, disturb, or play with them. A fun fact here, earlier explorers and sailors, they thought manatees were mermaids. Oh, okay. The Cincinnati Zoo is one of the only two U.S. zoos outside of Florida that participate in the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services Manatee Rescue and Rehabilitation Partnership. Since 1999, our zoo has rehabilitated 19 manatees. I love going in there um, at Manatee Springs mm -hmm. when you walk through and you get to see um, all the different, uh, what are in there, reptiles, right? Yeah, they're reptiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. In Manatee Springs, because you get to see the um, the alligators when you first walk in. But anyway, uh, when you actually get to the manatee part, and you can just sit there. They don't do a whole lot. No, they they look a lot like this. They but for some chill. reason, it's fascinating, and my kids are obsessed with them. It's like how I look when I'm laying in the pool. <laughs> no, I always make stop, that joke. Stop. I'm like, look, it's me. It's me this summer laying stop. in the pool, just like, oh. <laughs> Hanging out, living my best life. <laughs> I wonder why they thought they were like mermaids. Like to me, they clearly look like some kind of. Yeah. I think if Animal. they were a little slender, I could get it. Yeah. But, you know. Well, but you know what? That's I feel like what we perceive mermaids as, that's because true. like Little Mermaid and all oh, of yeah, these movies. Point. That's what we think that's a mermaid why they pay is. That's the big bucks because you're smart. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. why. <laughs> that's it. Hey, after the break, small business 